Please do me a favor and keep fishing out there. Oh yeah. We got some exploring to do today, folks. Two ponds, There's one all the way back there. There's another one all the way past those trees. Let's get down into business. Frick 'em up nation. Welcome back to another spanking video. Thank you. Yes, you. That person right there. Yeah, you for clicking on this video. It means the world to me that you even interacted looking at the thumbnail. Today, we are at the old childhood spot. Some of y'all will remember this if you follow up with the channel, but if you are new, let me go ahead and explain to y'all what this spot has done for me. Toddler Frick 'em up has learned the basics of fishing at these places. There's these two pond slash lakes, pond right back there. Then there is a big lake all the way in the back there. So there's four lakes for us to investigate. If we can't figure out a pattern or figure out something, we can also head down to the creek. That's a little bit of a walk, but I'm willing to take it, especially if we cannot catch any fish. We're gonna be going for anything and everything. I mean, drum, carp, gar, catfish, bluegill, Maybe some bass. It'd be super cool to catch a gar for y'all. Little toothy critter. Pull that up on the GoPro, that'd be sweet. I'm just gonna try to catch some fish, pull up as much fish as I can for y'all, and try to make this a action-packed video. We got ourselves an ultralight. That is for the smaller fish, you know, bluegill, maybe some small bass, and even some crappie. I forgot to mention that in the list of species that we could be catching today. Step up from that ultralight is our beefier little spinning combo. Rigged up on there is a Carolina rig. It's got a one fourth ounce weight on there with a glass bead. Leader we have is 10 pound line. The main line is 14 pound, both mono. Little team catfish hook on there. Now I brought myself some worms, so we're probably going to be throwing the worms on that setup mostly we're also going to be putting some worms on the ultralight so we can catch the pan fish next two setups are basically my big dog catfish and setups half ounce weight on there instead of the one fourth like the smaller spinning setup i'll get into a little more detail as we're fishing if we even bring those out today multi species y'all it's what we can catch so today we're just going to be doing what we can do throwing the baits that we can throw and having as much fun as we can. Please leave that like, comment, and subscribe for you, boy. It would mean the world. It even meant the world for you to click on this video. So if you did the little extra task, hey, you want to see me happy, there you go. That's a way to see me happy. I guess I should stop talking. I'm sure y'all are tired of seeing my face already. Uh, let's dive straight in, folks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. Before we even touch the ultralight, I think we're gonna get this second smallest spinning setup we got out there with a worm. Beautiful looking worms, man, I tell you what. Now that hook is not a circle hook, but it is pretty thick and fat. Hopefully we can hook up on these fish and not lose all of them. If we start losing more than hooking, we're going to change the hook out. But for now, we're just going to try this out see what happens. Boom. Let us launch her, man. <laughs> yeah. We are out there with a wiggler, dude. Let us get a bell. It's 
especially because we're about to start messing around with the ultra light cool if we can get a good sized ghillie we can throw a catfish pole out right now too maybe throw it in the other lake little crappie jig head worm bobber two pound line all I heard in that sentence was fun, daggum it. Get after some daggum fishies. Up in the water action. I'm waiting on the old dangle, dude. I am waiting on the old dangle. Hopefully I do not have too heavy a weights on. got one there we go that is bait for sure thank you bluegill now i'm gonna cut him up a little bit get him into like maybe two three pieces and then get one of our catfish poles out here i think that's probably one of the best ideas we've had so far nothing on the full worm Pole, their situation is a little jacked up, but we can work with it. Hey, hey man. Now we got that bluegill head out there. And then our full worm over here. Guess we'll just kick it right here for a minute. Then as we are working around doing our fishing things, we can decide if we want to move or not. I'm gonna pull out the ultralight again, get a couple casts in, see if we can't catch some smaller fish while we're waiting on the bigger ones. Guess we'll see what happens. For now, off to a good start. All right, well. Oh, on the ultralight, we had a gar, man. Just came off as I freaking turned on the GoPro. Damn, dude. He was cool looking, man. Little spotted gar action all right we might have something on the ultra light setup yeah we got something what is that it's a gar dude no we came off no damn it man why can't the gar ever just come in, dude? That is two freaking gar, man. Two of them things. I sauce that baby right back out there. We have hit 621 might have chilled here for a little bit longer than 30 minutes but yeah i think we're gonna wrap this stuff up and then head on to the next spot all packed up getting ready to move on i think we are gonna go ahead and skip this back pond i'll go ahead and show y'all what it's looking like real quick we got a daggum snake swimming out there i don't know if y'all can see that we are just going to go ahead and head to the spot where I have caught some catfish in previous videos. Dude. This is sketch, dog. <laughs> Okay. Okay. We made it. All right, folks. I have been searching my ass off. Cannot seem to find shit. But right here. I think we're going to try it. We kind of finessed this area a little bit to where we can set up a pole. Shout out to the waterproof boots. 
You talk about some help, man. Current pushing. Could be a cool spot. Who knows, man? Who knows? Pull out our bluegill baits right here. Get ourselves a chunk out there. Try to sneak up in here somewhere. Second pole is out. Full daggum worm on there. Launcher out. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh man. Worm pole with a bell. Bluegill pole in the middle. And then we have a bluegill pole all the way over there with a bell. And it is tied on something. Oh, there's a fish on there. Well, channel boy. Yes, we will take that freaking something. He swallowed it. All right, well, we didn't get skunked on the daggum catfish poles. We caught one. There he goes. Got one on the damn worm. Where did I put the bell? I see it. Oh, we broke that one off man i'm just gonna put this catfish pole right up here we'll check on our other guy and see what's going on with him oh right once i came over here look at that yeah <laughs> How cute. That's a good one. Yes, indeed. <gasps> it's so big. Whoa, that was not small. It sure is a Carl. Maybe five and a half, six pounder. It's a pretty long guy. Please do me a favor and keep fishing out there.